Hello, this is Albert Young from Topaz Lab. In this short video, I'm going to show how do I use Topaz in focus to reduce the blur of a handshake picture. Uh, this is a picture that uh, I took in Alaska and it has some uh, motion blurring it. As you can see, this picture is fairly blurred. As in the first part of the video, you can try to use the generic blur or out-of-focus blur or even motion blur, try to see whether you can reduce this blur. Uh, I have tried. I couldn't uh, find a proper setting that can reduce the blur. In Topaz, in Focus, we have included this new feature called Blur Estimation. In the Blur type, select Unknown Estimate Blur Type you notice that first the blur radius you have a bigger range you can go up to 10 this parameter need to be set a little bit bigger than the real blur in the picture you do not want to set too big or you do not want to set too small let's say I set it into 5 I think it's around 5 pixel the second parameter this one that is uh, active is called edge softness this will determine how sharp your result picture. At the beginning, usually you don't worry about it, just leave it as a zero. Select a portion of the picture that has strong, clear edges and clear features. This is very important. If you select, say, the sky, because there's no feature, no information, the blur estimation will not be very effective. You basically pan the image to an area that contain very clear, sharp edges. In our picture, is around this boat. After that, you just click this Estimate Blur button. It will start estimation according to this portion of the image and this parameter. Now you see it actually did a very good job on this particular image. The picture is cleared up. This is before, this is after. Now pan around the, the picture and see how the rest. See, before, after. Oh, this is a small boat. Before, after. Oh, it's not a boat, it's actually an airplane. So this actually worked very well. That's it. You get a clear rescued image. I just want to show you. If you select an area, for example, this area, that don't have a clear edge, and you clicked estimate blur is sometimes okay sometimes not in this case you can see before after it doesn't improve much if you move to this area and this is the blur result using the new blur estimation before after not very well notice blur estimation only activated on the part of the image and only you click Estimate Blur button. At this instant, it estimates the blur and the do the blur uh, reduction. When you go to other area of the u image, the same blur estimation will be used to deblur that part of the image. So if you don't click Blur Estimation button, there will be no blur estimation, even you change the the parameter, for example, you can change any value of this two parameter, blur radius and edge softness. Nothing will change because you didn't click this estimate blur. Keep in mind, the only time the software estimate blur is when you click estimate blur button. Now let's try to see how the blur radius setting affect the blur estimation. Basically, if you select a small value, the blur estimation will be very fast. But if it doesn't cover the real blur size, you are not going to get a correct result before, after. However, if you select too big blur radius, first it will be extremely slow. If you think the software is freeze, it is not. It is just working very hard to estimate. Uh, finally, it's come out. You can see before, after, in this case, a similar quality as uh, I use the number 5. So sometimes not bigger the better. Sometimes it makes no difference. 
Sometimes it not only takes very long to estimate the blur, but also the result is not as good. You want to select a large enough number, but not too big. For a big blurry image, the edge soften softness parameter is sort of uh, not very obvious, but this parameter will be very important when we use blur estimation on a minorly blurred picture. You want to really sharpen the picture. In the second example, I'm going to show you the blur estimation actually can help you sharpen an image. And as you can see, this is a, a good picture already well taken, very sharp, sharp already. If you, you want to make it even sharper, you can, of course, adjust the blur radius to your liking and uh, get a good result. But you can also use the unknown estimate blur type to let Topaz in focus help you in an automated way. Because this is a very small blur, you can select blur radius either one or two. Let's select two. Select the area that you really want to see the clear result, and then say estimate this area is good. Again, select the area with a lot of sharp features, sharp edges, and that will give you better blur estimation. Click estimate blur. That's it. You get before, after, before, after. It is sharper and pretty nice. However, if you look very carefully, let me zoom in again. You see there are a little bit of running here around, and uh, you see the, the information have a little bit of running. You don't want that. This is the edge softness slider coming into play. To reduce the running of the artifact at the edge, you can increase edge softness. For example, we, we put it in the around 0.7. And then, if you re-estimate the blur, you will see this is before, this is after. It's still getting a little bit better, but the running is totally gone. Before, after, let's zoom in and have a look. So before, after, you can even reduce this suppression artifact to get, give you a better detail. Before, after, you see before, after. It's much sharper, but has much less running. Uh, actually, I think I overuse this parameter a little bit too. Let's reduce it to about 50 and do estimate blur again. And now you see it's very sharp, but without raining. So basically, the edge softness will help you control the sharpness of the estimated blur. It is especially useful when you just want to sharpen the picture a little bit from already very sharp picture. To recap, using blur type unknown estimate enable you take advantage of uh, topaz in focus automatic blur estimation to save you some of the adjustment, especially for big blur. For many blur, this is the only solution. What you need to remember is first you need to select the area that with very clear feature, a lot of strong edges, the contrast, those information will be used in the blur estimation. Second, after you select the proper picture, don't forget to click estimated blur, because only click on it will tell the software to estimate the blur from the image you are previewing. Afterward, if you move to other reason, it is only the blur image. Use the estimated blur, but they will not automatically do the uh, estimation. Uh, I have illustrated how to use Topaz in Focus automatic blur estimation, and please try on your picture. If you can find some uh, a little bit blurry picture, or you have a nice picture, you just want to to see whether you can make it better. Give Topaz in Focus a try and uh, give us feedback. We really appreciate you are helping us testing out this software, and we hope it is going to become a useful tool for you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.